As I mentioned in the, in the preface to my book, Scott Station is a real place. Um, and it uh, was a place, it's one of those funny places in the South, funny not as in, well, I could probably use funny out, I don't know, but it's an old historic town where my grandparents were from um, that was an average town at the turn of the 19th century and early 20th century. It was There was hundreds of towns, thousands of towns in the South, Southeast, just like Scott Station, Alabama. Uh, but what I guess makes Scott Station unique now, uh, two things. One is the town's gone. It's, uh, there's no existence or very little ex uh, acknowledgement only by locals that the town actually existed. It's had this place in, in family lore that my family lore, McConaughey, um, the Ampert family lore um, that that I'd always heard growing up, and I heard my aunts and uncles, great aunts, great uncles, grandparents, mom or father um, talk about Scott Station, um, and really kind of what brought it to the forefront of my mind as an as an adult is uh, several years ago, you know, perhaps twenty five, even thirty years ago. My father, um, you know, I guess he got one of these things that 57 year old men get into and um, gave all us, everybody in the family, a picture of, of he, that he had found of his father, my grandfather, that little boy right there, that was taken in Scott Station, taken in central Alabama. Uh, so that really kind of crystallized the idea of Scott Station having some type of um, fictional qualities to it, kind of brought it brought the, it made the make-believe more real for me. Um, and then fortunately, um, where I live here in the Noonan area in Coweta County, uh, to really kind of help me make it real, um, was a little town not far from called Moreland, Georgia. And that gave me, a, I could really visualize where Molly Lingo and the Lingo family was, was growing up. Moreland is, is a town almost similar to Scott Station, but it still exists. And it's very famous because it has a famous writer there, Erskine Caldwell and uh, Louis Grizzard. Um, but it 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 shows you, and this is it was typical of Scott Station and Moreland and these hundreds of towns in the southeast, is that it really centered around farming. Uh, it was an agrarian lifestyle, but with the farming went the the town. There was the commerce there, the bank, the commercial uh, district. And then the, the kind of the third wheel was the, was the church, and the church was really an important thing. So the, the, the idea of Scott Station being real to me was, was something I enjoyed doing, making it real, obviously in my imagination and on the page. But it is a, uh, an example of, of towns that the South um, has all over. And they're, 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 they're wonderful towns in various stages of uh, growth. Some of them have become big cities. And some of them are like Scott's station, they're, they're gone.